Uh, right, health now, and our doctors are separating medical myths from their medical musts this morning. Uh, Dr Hillary is back, so is Dr Amir, and he's in his surgery this morning. I know you've got lots of other things to be doing, but listen, Hillary, let's start with you. There are so many myths out there, and this is the one that um, I was always told, right? Is it true you shouldn't swim straight after eating? True or false? False. <gasps> There's no reason you can't eat something before you go for a swim. Absolutely no reason at all. There's never been a recorded drowning as a result of doing that. <laughs> and there's no logic to it. Obviously, when you eat, your blood is diverted to your gut rather than your muscles, but unless you're a, an Olympic swimmer, there's no problem going for a little dip if you had a, had a snack Cramps? Beforehand. I always thought, oh, no, don't do that. You'll get a stomach cramp or you'll get, a, a, you'll no, get a cramp in your there's leg. There's no reason why you get a muscle cramp if you, if you swim just after eating. The, the, the muscles are independent of the, of the digestive system, so, no, it's false. Right, OK, done that one. Uh, now, Amia, <laughs> right, does a rat, an apple a day keep the doctor away? That is... True. Wow. Okay. <laughs> kind of true. Kind of true. <laughs> so this actually goes back to 1866. It's an old Pembrokeshire proverb which said, if you eat an apple before going to bed, you'll keep the doctor from earning his bread. Oh, now, wow. even though there's no scientific studies linking eating more apples with fewer visits to the doctors, apples themselves are very healthy. They've got lots of health benefits. They have loads of fibre in, which is great for your gut health, really good for your heart health, cholesterol and blood sugars vitamin C for your immune system, so hopefully less infections. And when eaten regularly as part of a balanced diet, they can keep you healthier, and healthier means fewer visits to the doctors. I love that. An apple before bed stops the doctor from earning his bread. Very yes. good. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> right, so, Hilary, is it true that we are taller in the morning, and I'm not talking about the heels that I've got on, because that is true <laughs> for me, but not naturally speaking, I have to say. I'm five foot two all the time. It is true. You're it is taller true. in the morning. You are, you are, because as the day goes on and gravity does its thing, the soft gelatinous discs between the vertebrae and your spine are compressed. Oh. So you lose a bit of height as the day goes on. It's absolutely true. On top of that, your feet get bigger. Uh, with, again, with gravity, your feet tend to splay out and your feet can actually be half a size bigger towards the evening. So when you go buying shoes, go in the evening that so they're not so too small. That is so interesting. Indeedy. Oh, my goodness. OK, I love that. Right, OK, here's another one, Amir, which my mum always used to say to me. Um, is it true or false that sleeping with wet hair will give you a cold? Sorry, mums, it's false. It's false. <laughs> Now, my mum used to say this as well. Nobody was allowed to go to bed with wet hair in our house or even leave the, ha the house leave with the wet house, hair yeah. uh, because people think they will get a cold. There's mum. I'm apologising, mum. I would never say this to a face. I could only do it through the TV. It's wrong. <laughs> but uh, actually, you know, she would always used to say you get a cold, but colds and flus are passed through infected droplets from infected people. So you can get them if you spend too much time with an infected person, you're too close to them, you're breathing in their droplets, or if they cough and sneeze on the surface and you touch it and then you touch your face. That's how you get a cold and a flu. It is true that colder environments, the winter time, is a better, better environment for these bugs to spread. And there's a theory that in the winter, because there's less sunlight and we have less vitamin D, which we need for our immune system, our immune system isn't as good, so we're more susceptible to these infections. But that's got nothing to do with wet hair. So sorry, Mum, you can go to bed with wet hair if you want. It's not particularly comfortable, but you can. It just... Just um, stay away from sick people is what I would say. That's so... Because I literally have believed it to this day. Even though, logically speaking, now you say it, it makes no sense. Despite <laughs> that, Mama Khan is never wrong. Yeah, exactly. True yes. or false is Dr Hillary, Amir scared of his mum. You're going to get me to trouble, Hills. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> True. Uh, right, Dr Hillary. OK, I'm nervous about asking about this one. My son has recently taken to, yep, the hideous habit of cracking your knuckles. <laughs> he does it on purpose to... An oh, I hate it! <laughs> right, so I'm like, don't do that. It'll ruin your joints. You're going to get arthritis. False. <laughs> it won't give you arthritis. It won't do any damage to those knuckle joints. You whisper this. I whisper this. So yeah. it's basically the sound of little nitrogen bubbles in the soft tissues that pop. So they're little blisters, <gasps> little bubbles that pop. And that's the sound that you get. Sounds very loud, doesn't do any harm to the joints long term. Sorry. I'm disappointed in you. I can see you hanging on to that I'm apple, by the way. You're trying that. to keep the doctor Why away. Why do they do it then? Why do it? It's kind of satisfying. Oh, yeah, it's kind okay. Of nice. All right, fine. Uh, right, Dr. Amia. Now, this one is a good one. TikTok says that ibuprofen gel, if you rub it on, is good for getting rid of spots. True or false? 
That is true. Again, Brilliant. it's kind of, kind of true, kind of true. It's not part of the official guidelines when it comes to treating acne, but there is some evidence that ibuprofen gel or anti-inflammatory gels can reduce pain and swelling caused by spots. And some small early studies show that they can prevent acne as well. However, no children or young adults should be using ibuprofen gels. It's only licensed in adults. And I would say there's more evidence-based things that you can buy over the counter or get prescribed from your GP uh, if you're sort of struggling with acne. But if there's got a pain spot a bit of ibuprofen gel might help with the pain brilliant right we've got three more let's get through them so hillary the rumor that the flu vaccine gives you the flu i think this is true i'm gonna i'm gonna put my flag in it wrong it's false it's false <laughs> the flu virus is a dead virus it's a killed virus there's no way it can re re-emerge why do you feel a bit flu? dodgy afterwards because then? it's stimulating your immune system as it's designed to do to react so you might get a little bit of soreness at the injection site you might feel a little bit tired for a couple of hours but it can't give you flu so it's false false right okay yeah. now amia is it true that we need to drink eight glasses of water a day True or false? That is true. That is true. Healthy people should be drinking eight glasses or two litres of water a day. If you're bigger or if you're exercising, you might need more. If you're on a fluid restricted diet, for medical reasons, you might need less. But don't forget, it's not just water. You can get hydrated from things like milk, tea, coffee, juices and food as well contains water. So fruit and vegetables. And did you know, Ranvia, an egg is 76 percent water. So an egg is hydrating as well. So if you're struggling with the eight glasses of water, think about hydrating foods too, including eggs. Love it. Right. This is one of my favourite ones. Hillary, is it true that brown sugar is healthier than white sugar? It is not true. It's false. But brown sugar, how come you taste so good, as the Rolling Stones once said. Thanks very now, much. Let me tell you, brown sugar is different to white sugar because it's been more processed and the brown colour comes from the molasses that the white sugar now contains. But they're both unhealthy. They're both full of empty calories. No nutrition at all, hardly any to speak of. So the best thing is to have a sweetener or no sweetener at all. That's hilarious because when people go, oh, just brown sugar, please, because you know I'm on a health kick. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> like, I'm just looking after it's, myself. It's, it's no literally better than not, white sugar. not really. It's no better than but white the biggest sugar. myth today, Mama Khan could be wrong. It's a myth. It's a she myth. She could never be wrong. <laughs> Amir, pull yourself together. <laughs> Even when she's wrong, <laughs> she's wrong. <laughs> Even when I'm she's wrong, she's wrong. I'll call you later. You're going to get into so much trouble. I'm going to call oh, you I'm later. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, one? Right, super stuff. Thanks, guys. <laughs>